Sometimes you got to ask yourself these questions. And one of the main, major questions you should ask, am I lusting or am I loving? Yes, are you lusting or are you loving? Because if you are lusting, you can't wait. Hear me? And glory to God. If you are lusting after this person, you are, you are not loving this person because love waits. Amen. Love have patience. Lust say, I got to have it now. If I don't have it now, glory to God, I'm going to leave the person because I'm lusting rather than loving. Lust is a dangerous thing. Lust will make you commit suicide. Lust will make you kill this person. Lust will drive you crazy to your grave. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, why die before your time? And a lot of people are lusting so bad, they got to have it. If they don't have it, they will kill that person because they, they want it and they want it now. That's why, my friend, there are a lot of people, especially young girls, that bring back their children in this world because they can't wait. My friend, we wait for everything else. We wait to go to the bathroom. We wait to stop sign. Wait in the line. We wait to get paid. But when it comes to love, we just can't wait. So if, am I lusting or am I loving? Because when you're love, the Bible says love believe all things, hope all things, endureth all things. Love suffered long. So the question to you is, am I lusting or am I loving? When you love somebody, my friend, they no string attached to it. That means you don't give you no roses and, and expect to be rolled all over in the bed. You don't give a person a ring because you want to you wanna sing. Who go to God, I got it. Amen. What I'm saying to you, my, let's watch my video, my friend. Am I loving or am I lusting? Because lust is a desire that will put your soul on fire. What do you mean, preacher? That means you are lusting for something that's not good for you. Hey, go to God. You lusting for things. That's why a lot of people, my friend, yeah, let, let me, t I know I did a video called Prayer and the Law of Attraction. Let me talk about the Law of Attraction for a little while. Because Law of Attraction is lusting. You want, you want the law to give you things. You want the Law of Attraction to attract to your energy to give you things. You want Satan to give you things and think it's, it's of the Lord. It's not of the Lord. It's called lusting. And we got to be very careful about lusting. Because lusting makes you desire something which is not good for you. Like Eve. Like who? Like Eve. Eve saw the fruit was, de was desired. And she went after it. The Bible say, what's up the word? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world, and the world pass away, and the lust thereof. So am I lusting? If you've been dating this girl for a long time, or, or for a short time, and the only thing you, you want is to bump and grind, my friend, you are lusting. But if you can wait to say, I will, I will marry you, that's love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love don't vaunt itself. Love don't rejoice in the nicotine, but with love you rejoice in the truth. Am I lusting or am I loving? Loving, my friend, you pass Valentine's Day. You still give her roses because you, you love her. You love him. But if there's lust, lust come around when you want it. But love come around all the time. When you're, when you're sad, looking pitiful, you still come around because you love. Am I lusting? Or am I loving? If you just based on sex, a relationship based on sex, it's just, it's just lusting. If you can't sleep at night, you sweat when you see her. You start, you act like a monster when you see her. You see him, you, you become gooky. You can't sleep, you can't eat, my friend. It's lust. And stop denying the fact it's lust. Because Abner, Abner raped his sister Tamar because he had lust for her. He ain't love her. He lusted after his sister because she was beautiful and she was a virgin. So don't tell me you are loving. You're not loving. You are lusting. And half of the world in the 21st century, especially young girls, they are lusting after strange flesh.
So a person that lusts don't have no don't have no self control. Yes, you lusting, you have no self control. My friend, if you have self control, you learn to wait. You learn to have endurance. You love to have patience. You love to be kind. But when you lust, my friend, you are mean. You are nasty. You gotta have it. And if you don't have it, you be, you become a monster. So I'm telling you, my friend, am I lusting or am I loving? Because, my friend, hey, dog, love is not strange. Love is pure. Love is honest. And love is full of love. When you're lust, you got a, it's covetousness. My friend, it's, it called, it called deviousness. Because why? Because you can't wait to have sex. You can't wait and go to God to, to get the groove on, to bump and grind. What I'm saying to you, my friend, is it lusting or am I loving? If sex is involved before you get married, it's lust. And you shouldn't get married. I tell anybody, anytime that a person that wants sex right now before marriage, it's all about lust. It's not about love. Because love is genuine. And lust is fake. Love is pure. Lust is unpure. Love is authentic. And lust is counterfeit. I'm trying to tell somebody right now, my friend. Am I loving or am I lusting? Anytime, and I mean it, anytime there's sex involved in a relationship that you are not married, it's all about sex. It's not about love. Because love is not sex and sex is not love. Love is, is pure. Amen. So if you, are, if you are dating a person, listen to me very carefully, my friend. And if bumping and grinding is involved in a relationship right now, that means it's not about love. Because love is patient. Love is kind. Love believe all things. That means that if you plan it on, if, if a man or a woman don't talk about future, they're not going to marry you. Hear me now. Hear me. If a, if a man don't let you see their father, they're not going to marry you. If a woman don't let you see the mother, hey, glory to God, they're not going to marry you. If a man don't let you see her mother, hallelujah, not going to marry you. Because, my friend, if, if there is no father, if they, if they don't see your family, they don't want nothing to do with you. They don't want to bump and grind you. They'll see you as a piece of meat. Not an M-E-E-T to meet the family, but they see you as a meat on a table. Listen to me very carefully, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Am I loving or am I lusting? Because if you are lusting after somebody, my friend, hey, glory to God, it's not about love. Because love say, I'm going to wait until I marry and have children, have a big backyard, hey, glory to God, uh, and, a big, and a big white fence, hey, glory to God, and live happily ever after. But if you can't, if you have lust, you're not going to have no future. You're just going to have a, a temporary, hallelujah, lust relationship. And then you're going to be miserable as hell. Because you're going to contract STD. Hey, glory to God. And what's STD again for you? STD is Satan trap disease. Because it trap you. Amen. But if you love someone, love means that you're going to meet the family. Love me. you're going to go together and spend a future together. Love means go to God. It's not about things. It's about relationship. Amen. Glory to God. My friend, if you're just loving this person because they can give you things, it's about lust and not about love. Amen. And it's time to be real. It's time to be genuine. It's time to be not, not to be counterfeit. But how can you how can you know if somebody lusting after you? If there if there's sex involved and if he and if he tongue kissing you and if you want to do oral sex but no sex, my friend, it's all about lust and not about love. Because lust make you act crazy. 
lust make you act like you are out of control. You have no self-control. You have no temperance. Because it's all about, hey, glory to God, what's between your legs? Hey, glory to God. I know, I know I say this all the time, my friend, but I'm going to say this in, in, in this piece that I'm saying right now. Love is not legs open very easy. That's not love. That's lust. I say that is lust because lust my friend hey glory to God is legs open very easy <laughs> glory to God hallelujah amen but if you love someone you wait until you say will you take this person to be your wife will you take this man to be your husband until death do your part, you make a vow. But a vow nowadays become just a just a word on a piece of paper. You memorize, but you don't really mean it. Am I loving or am I lusting? It's time to tell the truth before you walk down the aisle and make a mistake, my friend. Listen, listen, listen. Relationship is not like going shopping. Let me say this, my friend. The aisle mean not the grocery aisle. I'm talking about the aisle in church. You have a baby, hey amen. You don't need to put no white dress on, hey, because white means you you are virgin. White means you are pure. That means that no man ever touched between between you. So if you are if you are a woman and you plan on putting on a white dress, don't put the white dress on because you've been touched before. You had a baby out of wedlock, my friend. So you need to wear a parsley dress or glory to God a black dress. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wear a parsley dress or a flower dress, but you don't wear no white dress. White mean pure. White mean that you are a virgin. You telling the whole world to go to God. The people that's, that's sitting in the congregation and go to God on witness before you that you are getting married because you 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 kept yourself for the man that you gonna that you gonna spend the rest of your life with. Amen. What you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about, is it lust or is it love? And don't get, listen, my friend, don't get, don't get that mixed up, my friend. Because if a person talk about, they want to have sex with you right now to prove that you love, that's not, you don't prove sex by, by loving somebody. You prove sex, my friend, and go to, not until, go to God until the, the marriage bed. When a honey, when a honey, you become the honey and you go outside and see the moon, honeymoon. But you want to decide to make a decision. You made a mistake, my friend, because it was all about sex and it was not about love. How are you listen to the old man? Amen. Because I've been there. I lust after females. Because I just want to have, I just want to have it and just dump it. Amen. And I know it's cruel, my friend. If you just want to have sex with a person, tell them straight up, my friend. And they'll understand your motive. But don't lie. Say, I love you. You don't love them. You, you, say, you should say, I lust you. But some women understand that. Some women just want to bump and grind. They don't want a relationship. This is one, one night stands. Amen. What one night stand is? What I say is, you just have it for one night, you don't see the person no more. But what happened, my friend, when the condom slip and go to the person become pregnant? And that's why we have father's home, because a woman just want to have a one night stand. Like a hawk. And he's a dog. Amen. Can, 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 we, can we talk? Can, can we talk? Can we talk about this thing called lust? Lust is desire. Lust will put your soul on fire. But love. Now, and a lot of times we, we mix up the, the, the filial love with the, the agape love and the rose. The filial love is friendship. Friends don't have sex with each other because they're friends. Agape love means you love everybody. Don't mean you sleep with everybody. And a rose means a, a relationship, a, a, a husband and a wife intimacy. Amen. Come on. The Greek love. But love you all, y'all having sex and y'all friends. Nasty. How can how can a friend have sex and they are friends? You might as well go ahead and get married. Paul say it's better to marry than to burn. What well, Paul would say, not burn in hell. Burn, if you have a passion for each other, get married. And don't let sex become your ultimate desire. Amen. 
can I can I help someone out there? If you're watching this video, my friend, and you in a you in a relationship and you want to know if the person lusting after you or the person loving you, if sex is involved, it's all about lust and not love. If you say no, we can't have sex, my friend, the person should understand because you want to keep yourself, you will know whether or not it's about sex or love. Because sex and love is two different things, my friend. Sex mean I want to have you as a sex object. And lust mean, it go, now sex mean just, just sex and no love. How glory to God. I'm trying to help you. If you're watching the video, my friend, you ought to say amen. Glory to God. Amen. But am I loving or am I lusting? It's time to tell the truth to your partner.